Dr. Swarjla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Semen analysis is a first line investigation when we are trying to assess male fertility. When a couple approaches us, the woman and the man are examined simultaneously. While scans and blood tests are involved for a woman, for a man, semen analysis is what we begin with. In semen analysis, we look at the count, motility and morphology of sperms. And today's video is about normal and abnormal morphology that we encounter when we are looking at sperm morphology in a sample. A normal sperm looks approximately like this. It has a head, a mid piece and a tail. The tail is very important for motility, for movement. If the tail is shaped well, then the sperm moves forward in a linear direction. The mid piece, this section here is also very important because that's where the mitochondria is present. Mitochondria gives the sperm energy to move and to perform other activities. Now, the head is the topmost part and that's where the DNA from the father is encapsulated. It's present there, tightly capped there. So it's a very important procedure where we look for sperm morphology because any defects in the sperm, whether it is tail, mid piece or head could lead to fertilization errors or could lead to poor embryo formation, could lead to miscarriages and also implantation failures. Now an abnormal sperm looks like this. Like I said, it could have a very small tail, it could have a small head as you can see here. It could have differently shaped head as you can see. This shape makes it very difficult for the sperm to penetrate the egg to bring about fertilization. As you can see here, this sperm has two tails. Two heads are not good because two sets of chromosome then get into the egg which could lead to an abnormal embryo also known as Down syndrome and other abnormalities that we encounter in live births. So it's very critical that such sperms be reported in a semen analysis. As uh, moving forward, you can see that there are some amorphous forms also as in they are shaped differently. So any deviation from a normal sperm has to be reported in sperm morphology and this is done very strictly under the guidance of WHO protocols. If you want to understand more or wish to get a semen analysis done, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.